Welcome back. Uh, today, project one of the Mini Cooper S. Uh, we're going to be changing out the cigarette lighter for a USB uh, dual. Let's see if you guys can see that. So we're going to replace the cigarette lighter with dual USB. This is really cool. I hooked it up to a 9 volt battery. Uh, it has a little push button right there with the on and off switch. You can uh, do that uh, and turn it on and off if you have continuous power going to it. I don't know if I do or not, to be honest. I don't know if it even works. Um, so we'll be going through that. I tried plugging in the uh, the a cigarette lighter holder to it and uh, couldn't, couldn't get it to power up. So we'll be playing with that. I don't know if it's the actual... Um, if it's the actual... A cigarette lighter casing or if it's power going to it if it doesn't uh, come on we'll check the fuses and go from there so um, be working through that uh, a couple screw holes down here in the cup holders uh, these are Phillips they're not usually I think they're normally t30 um, we'll have to pull those out there's another one back there we'll be pulling that one out as well so I'll come back to the video as soon as we get those done all right so those screws have been removed there. Uh, this screw has been removed here. We also have to remove uh, these screws over here. This is the what used to be the cup holder. Uh, I don't know if I'll replace that or not. I haven't decided yet. Um, so I have to do the same thing on this side. Of course, that upper screw is a little hard to get to. We're going to have to pull this plastic off, which I was going to pull off anyway. Um, so that I could get to this stuff for paint. So um, I'll be pulling that down here real quick. I'll come back to the video as soon as I'm done with that. And then once that, once I get those done, then this should, should be able to get this out. I've uh, disconnected, I've, you know, uh, done those screw screws, removed them. Um, so I'm gonna remove that. We'll pull this other side out and then the center console should come out and then we will uh, resume the video there. All right, here we are. Um, I've got most of this out now. I was able to get those two screws out. Uh, most of that, it was still connected. Uh, figured out that uh, if you come down here, this is the uh, seat heaters, uh, the controls for the for the heaters. Um, the the caps, uh, which I'll show you. These little guys right here just pop off. Uh, centerpiece uh, for the mirrors. Uh, that just pops off as well. So pop those out, brought this out. You just have to pry up with a screwdriver on the ends. Uh, there's a hole here and there's a hole here. Uh, you get a screwdriver in there, you pop them out. This is what you get. Down in here, um, I've already pulled and I'm going to try and see if I can focus in there. Um, but there are two screw holes. Um, right there that actually help hold your center console in. So if you have uh, heat on your seats, I did pull this out, this doesn't do anything. This is just a cover. Uh, it doesn't really uh, do anything to hold anything in place. I'm not gonna pull this all the way out. I just need to be able to get back here to the uh, cigarette lighter. So I think I'm in a good position now where uh, the succubus is loose. Uh, I do need to still get this piece off right here. Uh, so I'll be doing that. I'll pull that down here in a minute. Uh, and get that the rest of the way out, then this whole center console should pull out. So um, come back to the video here in just a minute when I get that done. All right, so we are getting close. All I have left to do now before I can get this last screw out is to take this lower panel off. Uh, this is an interesting one. All you do is, and it's really tight. Uh, you pull on this, uh, and then this whole thing comes down. And it'll probably come crashing down, so um, I will do that. Let's see if I can get back to the video. Um, so hold on a second, and I'll come right back. All right, so as you can see, uh, these are the clips uh, that hold this on. They just sit in there, uh, and they pull down on it. This will slide right out, uh, just straight out. I don't need to do that. I just need to remove these other screws. And then the center console will come out. Actually, I do. Uh, so, so we'll go ahead and just pull that out. So now I can get to that other last screw. And then the center console comes out. Now this is the same process you're going to use if you're changing the radio. Uh, as you can see over here, um, 
these are the screws uh, right in there uh, that you would need to use uh, that you need to take out in order to get this radio out so i'll be doing going through this again later um, when i do go to change this so this is the one that has the i mentioned them in the very first video this is the stereo that has the pop out screen and it hits the upper dash here and then it slides out it's not permanently mounted uh, why they did that i don't know but uh Anyway, I'm going to pause here for a second. I'll pull the rest of this out and get the center console out. All right, so the screw's been removed. Uh, this is now just sitting in here. Uh, same thing with this side. Um, and now the center console is loose. Like I said, I don't need to take it all the way out. Uh, I'm going to get to it from the back side. So I'm going to go in here. Um, this will be... There's a clip at the back of it I just have to remove. Uh, that'll allow me access to the cigarette lighter. So this was all the process just to get to the cigarette lighter uh, so I could change it out. I will need to drill a hole a little bit bigger in that center console uh, when I go to pull this out. Um, as you guys can see, I'll see if you can see this, but this is really not even attached. Um, so I'll be pulling that out. I'll probably pull the cup holders out as well. I'm gonna paint everything. Um, the same green and then I'm going to do the whole car. So, uh, or not the whole car, but the, the roof and the mirrors. Um, and then I'm going to do some racing stripes or some, some stripes, um, for the front and the back. And that'll be, uh, probably flat black with, uh, bright green trim. So that's my, I think that's what I'm going to end up doing, but more to follow on that. So I'm going to disconnect this, uh, pause you guys again for another minute. Um, I'll try and get back in, in here. Pull these out. I'll be painting that probably before I put it back together. And there's my plug. So I'll uh, pause again here for a second while I remove that. So here is the cigarette lighter removed. This is the uh, back end of the cigarette lighter. Uh, this is the plastic uh, shielding that goes on it. Um, so this is what we're going to replace. I will probably have to uh, cut the plug because uh, this plug clearly won't fit. Uh, so I have to put I have to clip the wires, uh, put just a connector, terminal connector on it, um, and go from there. So uh, it is out. I'm gonna again, like I said, probably drill this out. I think I have to drill it out just a eighth of an inch or so bigger than it already is. And then I'll put it all back together, wire it up. Um, these should be a standard terminal connector like would normally go on this. They're crimp connectors. Uh, you strip about a uh, half inch or so of the wire and then you crimp them on. And then they, um, I like using the ones, especially on the hot side, that have a shield over them. So I will do that um, and then put it back in. And as soon as I get it back in, I'll... Uh, go through the process of trying to put everything back together for you. This will be a little bit of a delay on this video because I am going to paint these pieces. These side pieces, I'm going to clean them up and and the ones that go, the pillars that go down here, uh, because I want to paint them. It's a perfect opportunity to do it while it's out. I will have to remove them again uh, to do the stereo, but for right now, I'm not too worried about it. And as you can see, this is a beautiful job done uh, by the previous owner. So uh, we will be working through that as, as time comes, but I'll come back to the video again once we uh, get, the, get the new cigarette lighter adapter piece in place. Uh, I don't think you guys need to see me just drill out a hole. So I'll pause it here, get that kind of in, and I'll come back to it as soon as I get it ready to go. So the new uh, new cigarette lighter adapter is in. Um, drill the hole out a little bit bigger. I typically like to use a step drill for these. It makes the cut in the plastic really clean, so it uh, looks factory, really. Um, now to do the wires. Like I said, I'm going to uh, take these wires here. This is the connector uh, for these. hope you guys can see that. Um, the red and yellow wires, the power wire, brown wire is going to be the ground wire uh, or the negative. So um, I'll be cutting these. There's enough wire here to where I can 
I can cut them uh, and then plug it into the back side of the adapter. So I'll be doing that next. I'm sorry, you won't be able to see it. Um, again, regular automotive crimp connectors uh, work perfect for this. So I'll be doing that here in a second. And then uh, what I'd like to be able to do, of course, is once the... Um, once I get it wired, before I put it all back together, I'm going to turn it on, make sure it works. Um, and I'll show you guys that. And then uh, the process of putting everything back together is exactly opposite of removing it. Um, so put the little brackets in place, um, the ones that go right here in these holes. Uh, so we'll put those in place, kind of set everything in place, screw everything together. you got the two, uh, the two side screws that go up here on both sides. Uh, so you'll have the two that go up here. Um, you have the two in the cup holders, one that is way back up under here, um, right where that hole is there. So we'll be putting all that back together and then all the trim. Again, that'll be us. I'm going to end the video here um, once I get it powered up. And then all of the, uh, putting it all back together, I am going to um, delay that a little bit so I can paint some of these pieces. So I will, as, as another video show you painting these pieces um, and doing the trim on this and I think it'll look really good when I'm done so I look forward to showing that to you guys so um, come back in a minute with uh, hopefully power and everything lit up all right so cigarette lighter is in and I'm not getting power to it so I thought I would add a little bit to this video um, it's all installed. Again, no power going to it. Battery is disconnected right now. So what I thought I would do, of course, first is check the fuse. So um, in the in the United States, uh, the American version, the uh, and you can't really see it in here, but the fuse panel is on the driver's side, uh, the left side of the car, passenger side if you have right-hand drive. Um, that's where the fuse panel is. So if we look at the uh, cover it has a has a thing um, kind of a picture of what each fuse is. So if we look on the right hand side, uh, try and get this for you guys. Um, this is the cigarette lighter. So it's supposed to be a 15 amp fuse. You can't see it in here. I'll see if I can. No, it's not going to do it. Um, anyway, the uh, the fuse is missing. So. I'm going to go grab a 15 amp fuse. I'm going to plug it in and then I'm going to see if the cigarette lighter in fact works. Um, now that we have a new cigarette lighter in there, it should. They probably pulled it out for something else that blew out. Um, but if you want to know where your fuse box is in your um, uh, Gen 1 uh, Mini Cooper S, it's in the uh, driver's side in the US, left hand side, um, footwell. So, uh, and there is a pretty good little uh, diagram as to what each thing does. So uh, I'm going to put a new fuse in there if I have one and uh, we'll carry back off, uh, carry back up when I uh, get that going. All right, final part of this video. So had to charge the battery a bit, um, got everything working, put in the new fuse and uh, got power. Nice thing about this, uh, you do have to have the power on, but it does have a little power button where you can actually turn it on and off. So pretty nice little little add-on. Um, look forward to using it. And uh, of course it's green like the interior. So uh, we'll close this video out and uh, look forward to the uh, next modification. Thanks everyone.